In our first tutorial we had a look at modifying existing images using filters in Tactile View. However, not always you will have images available that are suitable for applying these filters. So in this tutorial we will have a look which techniques you can apply to produce a tactile graphic when the image either has a low resolution or low contrast or has texts through the image or other elements that make it difficult for, uh, for the filters to produce a tactile graphic. So let's start by importing the image. So I select import from the left hand toolbar, then select import image from file. I find the image that I want to uh, edit. I open place the image in the document and adjust the size to fit the paper size. And then we will use the draw path curved shape tool here in the toolbar. And with this tool we can simply trace the different elements in the image. So I will start off by tracing the uh, path of the cruise ship in this example. And with this tool we can simply reproduce the lines of the cruise like so. For those that are familiar with the Adobe software like uh, Illustrator and Photoshop this, uh, this draw path tool is quite similar to the pen tool. And as you can see we have now arrived in Barcelona and we have finished the uh, route of the cruise. So I will, I will close the shape with this semicircle. And now we can also use the same tool to trace the coastline starting off in France along the north coast of Spain etc. The more detail you want to use the more anchor points you can place along the line. And I will now skip ahead because this is simply a matter of continuing all along the coast. Okay, as you can see I've now traced all the coastlines in this map. And at this stage we can get rid of the original image file. And what we're left with are these blue lines, the objects that uh, form the tactile graphic. And one of the major benefits of these objects is that we can also apply different properties to them. For example, in this uh, map we can distinguish the route of the cruise from the lines that mark the coastline in this map. So in this case I will select a different line style, like so. And now we can easily distinguish the coastline from these dotted lines in the center that show the different cities that we'll, we will be visiting. And the final thing what we can do is label all the different stops in this map. In this case there isn't enough room for all the uh, full city names within the map itself. So I will simply number them And down below we will add a key with all the city names. So you can simply use the numbers to find the different stops. Of course we will also provide a title. And there we are. Now we've finished the tactile graphic. Uh, 